Wow. So this just happened. This breaking just moments ago, um, Alec Baldwin, the actor, has been indicted in New Mexico on two counts of involuntary manslaughter stemming from the shooting deaths on the Rust movie set. He's been indicted in New Mexico, two counts, involuntary manslaughter uh, from that Rust movie set. We're starting to get some more details right now. Mercedes Colwin is joining us. Uh, Mercedes, what we're learning so far is that this grand jury has indicted him. Uh, this just happened today on an involuntary manslaughter charge. Remember, this goes back to 2021 on this yep. fatal shooting during a rehearsal on the movie set in New Mexico. Um, this obviously brings back and revives what has been a dormant case against this A-list actor. There had been a lot of focus on whether or not Alec Baldwin actually acted recklessly, which is one of the underlying pinnings of an involuntary manslaughter charge. Honestly, not a fan of Alec Baldwin, largely because of his hypocrisy when it comes to firearms. Um, he's perfectly fine with promoting firearms in movies and using them in movies, but then he has a noted history of being very kind of anti-gun or anti-Second Amendment, which generally speaking, if you're you kind of flippy floppy like that and you're kind of contradicted, you're not, I'm not going to be a fan of yours. That said, I'm not really one to wish harm on anyone. And I, I don't applaud the fact that he has to go through this or that he's being charged with this, even though he can come across as an arrogant prick sometimes. But I don't wish this on anyone. And part of that reason is because this could be anyone. When we talk about this Alec Baldwin situation, it's easy to kind of make fun of it, make fun of him and poke fun at the situation and say, ha, 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 this is what you get. This could easily happen to them. And the reason why it could easily happen to them is because when you deal with firearms for a very long time. Now, in the case of Alec Baldwin, a lot of it was pure ignorance, which is I addressed in the past. If he spent more time talking about educating people about firearms and firearm safety instead of just trying to villainize people who carry firearms or own firearms, he probably wouldn't have been in this situation because he would have got that information himself and known never to point a gun at someone, even if you think it's unloaded. Even if it is unloaded, you don't point the gun at anyone. But he didn't know this because he was too blinded by his ideology of hatred of the Second Amendment versus understanding the Second Amendment, understanding firearms and keeping himself out of this situation. Now, that being said, what can also happen on the other end is sometimes we can become rather complacent with firearms. And it, it happens, especially if you're used to dealing with them over a long period of time. So it's very easy for people to find themselves in a situation where maybe they're not following all the rules they normally should be following because... They're just too used to it. And that's why I think it's important to make sure that you stay vigilant about firearm safety. And what this story actually brings to mind is the case of Jason Williams, the former NBA player who accidentally shot his driver. A five-year prison term for former NBA star Jason Williams. He'll be eligible for parole after 18 months. Williams was handcuffed and led from court to begin serving the sentence immediately. I pray that today brings you some comfort. He apologized repeatedly in court to the family of limousine driver Costas Christoffi. Yes, Your Honor. Williams accidentally shot Christoffi to death while playing with a shotgun on Valentine's Day in 2002. I remember watching that entire case play out on court TV when I was younger, and I was watching the whole situation go down. And I really wasn't into firearms at that point. But I can recall thinking to myself, damn, this guy didn't mean to shoot his driver. It was an accident. Now, he largely got convicted because he was found trying to cover it up after it happened because he panicked. But he still got charged for shooting the driver. And as a result, the jury was deadlocked. But nonetheless, they could have easily found him guilty. And I remember thinking to myself, damn, just like that, you could find yourself in a situation where you didn't intend to hurt anybody. You didn't do anything consciously wrong per se. But... Because of your actions, you are now looking at spending up to five to 10 years in prison, just like that. So that's why I think it's important that in this particular Alec Baldwin situation, if this case does go to trial, I think, I think honestly, it should be publicized to the world. I think it should be live. I think there should be cameras in there and people should hear every aspect and detail about what happened as a way to demonstrate and to expand on the idea of firearm safety. Because I think they would have a lot of eyeballs on this and a lot of people watching it. And inadvertently, they would also learn a lot 
about firearm safety and how to safely handle a firearm. Because I don't want this to happen to anyone. I, I wouldn't want this to happen to Alec Baldwin. I don't want this to happen to any people that are watching this video. I don't want this to happen to any of my family, my friends, and any of my followers. I don't want it to happen to anyone. So as much as we pounce on Alec Baldwin, and trust me, I've pounced. I've done three videos on this. Also, I think we should use this as a reminder to not become complacent with our firearms when it comes to firearm safety so that we don't find ourselves also in a situation like this because this particular situation demonstrates the importance of vigilant, continuous, and consistent firearm safety. But I think the armor, the person on set, is the one we should be focusing on. Now, she is going to trial, but there's something to be said about the importance of the people who take responsibility as the subject expert matter on this, on firearm safety, whenever you're doing a movie, I think all eyes should be pointed at her and figuring out how the hell they had live ammunition on set in the first place. Because as far as I'm concerned, if I was an armor on set, it'd be completely cold. There are no, oh, we're going to take the guns and go out and do certain things and have live ammo in them at one point and then bring them back and then clear them. No, 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 no. It should have been an entirely cold set. So, Something totally went awry, and the only way it could have happened was due to extreme negligence. As far as I'm concerned, we should be talking about her, the armorer, as much as we're talking about Alec Baldwin. And again, let this be a teaching lesson for not just Alec Baldwin, but for everyone, including me, to remind ourselves of how important it is to maintain our firearm safety at all times, because we're all homosexuals here. All right, we have our guns around us consistently and we're very comfortable with them. Well, let's just make sure we don't get too comfortable. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.